A variety of wood sources are suitable for use in wood-based panels. There are different kinds of engineered wood products used to make furniture and other wooden items for interior and exterior usage. The cost of interior decoration can be improved by selecting suitable material for each purpose. Particle board, also known as low-density fiberboard or chipboard, is one of the many engineered wooden product which is gaining popularity because it provides luxurious look as plywood and are available for lower cost. Before designing your interior, it is important to know the different types of particle board and their applications. This video explains what a particle board is, the manufacturing process, and the different types of particle board available. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notification for more contents. What is a particle board? Particle board is a composite panel product consisting of a lignocellulosic material of various sizes that are bounded together with a synthetic resin or suitable binder under heat and pressure. The primary difference between a particle board and other engineered wood products, such as medium density fiber board etc., is the material or particle used in its production. Sawdust is the main component of particle board. Other particles used to manufacture particle board include wood shavings, flakes, chips, strands, slivers and wood wool etc. Urea formaldehyde is commonly used as a glue for binding particle board. Manufacturing process. The general steps used to produce particle board include raw material procurement, sorting by size, drying, blending with resin and additives, forming into a mat, hot pressing and finishing. The raw material for particle board normally consists of wood particles, primarily wood chips, sawdust, and plain shaving. The raw material may be further reduced in size by means of a hammer mill or wood refiners. After milling, the raw material is sorted and screened using a vibrating or gyrating screens, and air classified to remove metallic and other contaminants, and also to separate the core material from the surface material. The core and surface material are transported to the dryer to reduce the moisture content. The most commonly used dryer is the rotary dryer. The moisture content of the particles entering the dryer can be as high as 50% in a wet basis. Drying reduces the moisture content of the particles to 2-8%. to After drying, the particles are conveyed to the blenders, where the particles are mixed with adhesive or glue and other additives to bind all together. Urea formaldehyde is the most common glue used for particle board manufacture. However, phenol formaldehyde resin may be used for particle board produced for exterior application. Wax are added to help control water absorption and thickness swelling in a finished particle board, especially along the edges. This temporary water resistance is important when boards are left outside or exposed to wet conditions. The particle, resin, and additive blended is formed into a mat in a forming machine. As it leaves the forming machine, the mat is pre-pressed to reduce the bulk and give some mechanical strength to the mat. Hot pressing is done to finally consolidate the board and cure the adhesive. The press applies heat and pressure to activate the resin and bond the fibers into a solid panel. After pressing, the boards are cooled before finishing. After cooling, the boards are sanded and trimmed to final dimension and a good surface finish is applied. Types of particle board. The followings are the various types of particle board available. Laminated particle board. It is manufactured by gluing a thin layer of laminate on the surface of plain particle board. Lamination is basically covering the outer surface with plastic or polythene paper. The laminate sheet improves the aesthetic of the particle board and also increase its durability. Veneered particle board. These are made of wood veneer Veneers are thin slice of wood, which are obtained from a tree log. Veneer particle board is manufactured by attaching veneer on the top surface of the plain particle board. They are more resistant to warping compared to a conventional particle board. They replicate the beauty of natural wood at lower cost. Melamine particle board. Melamine particle board is made by fixing a decorative paper infused with melamine on the surface of the particle board under high heat and pressure. 
The melamine urea formaldehyde resin, along with wax emulsion, provides a strong bond and makes it water resistant. They are very durable and have resistant to scratch. Cement bonded particle board. This particle board uses cement as a bonding agent and has high resistance to moisture, fire and rot. It comprises 60% cement, while wood waste particles like wood chips, sawdust, shavings, make up 20% of the composition. The remaining 20% is water. It has high expansion and shrinkage properties in humid conditions. Single layered particle board. Consist of wood particles of equal sizes pressed together. It is a flat and dense board that can be veneered or plastic laminated, but not painted. They are water resistant, but not waterproof. It is mostly used in interior finishing and not suitable for outdoor applications. Three-layer particle board. Thin layers of large wood particles are sandwiched between two layers of small, dense wood particles, forming a stronger, more durable board. The amount of resin in the outer layer is more than the inner layer. They are characterized by a smooth and flat surface that is ideal for painting. Graded density particle board. This comprises three main layers. A layer of coarse wood chips, sandwiched between two layers of softer wood particles. It's much denser than single-layer particle board, but slightly lighter than three-layer particle board, used to make cabinet and wooden furniture. Uses of particle board, used as a flooring material in temporary structure, where load application is less, and where finished aesthetic look is required. They are good option for partition walls and ideal for wall panels. They are used as ceiling tiles for auditorium, movie theater. They are used for countertops, cabinets, tables, etc. They are suitable for beds, storage units, shoe racks, TV cabinets, and small shelves. Advantages of particle board. They are lightweight, cost-effective, easy to maintain, good insulator, and eco-friendly. Disadvantages of particle board. Low strength easily damaged, shorter lifespan compared to plywood.